We put up the decorations. We send out the cards with the heartfelt wishes for peace and goodwill. We sometimes even sing the songs. But the desires for peace on earth and remembrances of the real meaning have long been obscured in the frustration of finding a blasted parking spot. Joyous Christmas time is not much of that anymore. Today on Thinking with Somebody Else's Head, let's revisit the true meaning of Christmas. I'm Richard Lloyd-Jones. Dr. Norberto Kepi's analytical trilogy gives us a beautiful perspective, a theological, philosophical, and even scientific insight into what should be our most precious and spiritual time of the year. Claudia, you said in our last podcast that instead of enjoying Christmas, we get all caught up in all the commerce of it, but that Jesus came with a message of hope and optimism and a way to get back to paradise. Why don't you expand on that a little bit now as we start our podcast? Well, what we see presently in all the places is this mentality of commerce. Commerce dominated the world. The merchants took the power and they lead uh, or they give the, t- the tune to everything in our lives. And what we see is that money is invading more and more our lives in a, in a negative sense. Because as we said before in our previous podcasts, money should be used and enjoyed by all, uh, of course, and make our, uh, the quality of life better for everybody. But in reality, money, the way it is used by the merchants, has been um, a means to to make life more difficult, to enslave, to exploit, to corrupt, to imprison, to make economy more difficult, to put obstacles <laughs> in, in making the wealth of nations, in the improvement of science, of arts, of civilization. Money, the way it has been used, it has been blocking civilization to develop on the opposite. It has deteriorated the quality of life of humanity. And when we speak about Christmas, we all have this inner sense, this inner intuition or feeling that this would be the time to have good feelings, to be happy, to share, to love, to be grateful, to enjoy the beauty and the wonders of creation. Because this is the day when God was born here among ourselves. So this is an incredible good news because humanity at that time was so, so degraded in its psychogenetics that it was necessary, scientifically explained even, that God, Son, would come and be born as a human being from the womb of a human woman. I mean, a real human being, which was Mary, his mother. And today we can explain further why and how scientifically explaining through metaphysics and the new physics of Kepi and through energetics we can explain better why it was necessary for God be born here as half human. So coming back to the the main idea all humans have in their inner essence, the inner selves, this notion that Christmas should be time of joy, should be time of peace, of uh, communication, forgiveness, and enjoyment. Now, money, the way it has been used, has been corrupting this well-being. Commerce. You, if you go to, to any shops, you see Thousands, millions of people agitated, feeling horrible, drunk sometimes, drugged many times, 
anxious because they need to buy and buy and buy and buy. They obey. They just serve. They are like robots working for the commerce to give more profits, to consume, to consume the planet, to extinguish the resources. And does this bring any satisfaction? Of course not, because our essence is not idealized by our creator to be consumers. We are here to accomplish. We are here to create, to, to be original, to continue the work of God. We are here to be similar to him and to accomplish, to imitate him in what he did. You know, Claudia, Dr. Kepi says in his wonderful book, Glorification, which is really his homage to God, he says, no matter what happens, the human being strongly resembles his creator with his beauty, goodness, and veracity. And no matter what man may do, he will never cease to be magnificent in his origin. That's right. So we have to go back to the meaning of Christmas, to the true meaning of Christmas, which is the big, big news that we have now a chance to go back to our original magnificence, as you said, and to the original glory that we were meant for. And this is very, very beautiful, to be born, to live, and to participate in the foundation of this true cosmic civilization. We wish everybody a very happy, very happy in terms of accomplishment, trilogical accomplishment, the year to try to get to glorification. And that is my wish for you all too. Merry Christmas from all of us at the International Society of Analytical Trilogy.